Okay, John, this is your um, from your first lesson, but it's down the line, and down the line, your swing is really good, okay, uh, and it's on plane, and I'll show you, I'll highlight some of the things that you do really well from this perspective. Um, the the one thing I mentioned during the lesson was, see how you, you've got your, now I know it's kind of a cramped position that we're hitting into, but your feet are closed if we're hitting towards the middle, you know, to the intersection of the two towels. But anyway, uh, so when you play, make sure that your feet are, the toes are parallel to the target line. Okay. So, but, um, you know, I just want to point that up again. So when you go out to practice, make sure you have a, 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 a aim stick at your toe line. Okay, so let's just look at your swing. So that position is near perfect. Okay, <laughs> there's nothing I, I'd change. If anything, I'd, I'd get, see the toe of the club isn't quite up. That's kind of, the face is kind of facing down, but it's on plane. Uh, really a good move here. See how you're turning your lower body through. The hands are hands are a bit low. Um, so let's look at Adam Scott. So see how the toe of the club is up. Okay. And he's he continues on playing to here. And see how Okay, so see how the gap between his uh, arms, you know, kind of over his right deltoid, um, you know, slash bicep. Yours is way down here, so it's going to be uh, um, pretty, pretty flat, and well, uh, yeah, very fat, flat. And see how the the shaft is off plane, see how you can hardly see his. So when he gets up to about this position, see how it's all in plane? Okay. You know, I like to see that thing st stuck out a little more behind you, but the, these aren't causing any great trauma uh, in the swing because look what happens when you come down, you have this and, and by the way, good good depth here on the on the backswing. As you come down, you take the shaft and put it right where it should be. See it right on that forearm. We draw another line. Let's. Uh, see the shaft is right there. So that's the guidepost. Okay, if you're coming too steep, it would be more vertical than that. That is really good. Every every golfer, every good golfer in the world, ends up right there. See how see how the shaft is right on the forearm. Okay. You know the only thing I do from this direction is, you know, you got good lower body action, but it's late. So when you get the impact. See how your, your butts come up back wall a bit and you can only see one cheek at impact. And look at all these guys. They all are all about the same. See at, at impact. You can see the double cheek at impact. And and it's it's uh, It's all a function of that right foot. Remember we talked about rolling it and going to the toe. If you roll it and go to the toe, then you know your your uh, hip pockets will be coming back against the back wall, and you can rotate your body through. You you rotate your body through, but it's 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 late. Okay, so at this point, see your lower body at this point. 
That's the way it should be at impact, see? So, you got all the flexibility you need, it's just a little late. And then early on, one of the earlier swings, you didn't really finish it, but you finished this one really well. <laughs>